obviously everyone's talking about e-mobility, that's a big part there when you talk about the future, but a lot of people are also hesitant regarding that. I mean, not, uh, not everyone is driving an um, a e-car yet. So what's your point of view there? The transmission is just one point of the whole part. Like Holger mentioned, it's a broader picture. And I think the argument about which energy source we use, it's over. The tipping point is there. We need different transmission to our now, and we will have different solutions. I think the main thing is that what's different from today is that uh, the need and the speed for transformation is accelerating dramatically in every year. So uh, there's a not need for transformation, I would even say revolution. We have three main points. The one is the trend sustainability, which accelerated the last two years. And the climate goals will be the overarching theme, which really uh, gives us a framework and uh, shows us where to go. The second one is uh, urbanization. Holger mentioned it. We have mega cities worldwide. We have big problems to solve. On the other side, through Corona, we are beginning to think how can we adapt our cities to a more sustainable, more greener, yeah, more fun lifestyle. And there's a big movement in Shanghai, Singapore, but also in Europe taking place, like Paris, the 50-minute city. So the second one is urbanization. The third one is digitalization. And we now realize without data, all this won't happen. So everybody and everything also will be connected. Who will be not connected will be not existent. And I think we need this innovation, this new technology, to make mobility more sustainable and also to provide it to everybody, not to exclude anybody. But really looking into the glass ball, yeah. in 30 years, what do you think will mobility look like? It will be more fun like today. We will enjoy it more. We will have more variety. We as customers will be king. So we can choose from different alternatives from move from A to B. We will have this one app which knows us and which knows our patterns, our preferences. And it will really help us to move from A to B with four wheels, with two wheels, with one wheel, maybe with no wheel. Micromobility is going to play a major role in our cities. So I really think it's a fascinating future and I think uh, much more fun and fascinating as today.